Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. So uh, we actually have a change in format uh, for the show a little bit here because our collecting journeys are kind of going in separate paths. Um, and when I say we, I mean, you know, Anna and the rest of us, that Christian and I feel like are kind of similar paths. But... Except for the fact you guys definitely have different things to talk about tonight. We do. We do. That is true. Um, and but... one of the things we're talking about, all three of us will eventually have. That's also true. I think that... you exaggerated. Nothing's actually changed. <clears throat> It's just, uh, it, at least this different. way, we don't have to scramble to figure out, like, you know, something that all of us have. Um, so we decided to kind of merge OOF, uh, or ouch my wallet a little bit, and microcasters, and kind of do reviews of our own things of, like, kind of what we think about it and have a discussion and, and all that type of things. So. Let me tell you what's really happening here. All right, so the sequel to Nice E is coming out pretty soon. I should be getting mine in a relatively short amount of time. And these guys didn't want there to end up being a show about that figure at all. They wanted to only be the third of a show. So we have a format change to prevent a full 30 minutes of Nicey. That's what's really going on, guys. Well, like, what, it would just be you talking about it anyway, I guess. Is, is Swift getting it again? Or uh, Of course. So I guess we could have Swift on. And I, I could have Catherine on again to help talk about it. She has nice to eat. Luke, it sounds like a night off for the two of us. It sounds yeah, like is, I. Is Catherine be... getting uh, the I don't think new so. I don't is. think the new one, the Mooka, Mocha, whatever she's so, called. So what you're saying is, is that, you know, Nicey was not nice enough to get Catherine to, to get whatever this new thing is. Well, it takes a certain degree of stupidity to buy the same figure twice. And it's not much of a remold. So I think she's just slightly smarter than me. Is the box still going to be the same, the same yes. type of box? Yes. Well, the box is, a, is the same type of box, but it's different enough that you feel like you have a variety of boot boxes. Mm. Now, I know originally Nicey was uh, not all that expensive, but then it went up uh, quite a bit. Is this one a lot more expensive, or is it like since it's a repaint, whatever is it? Yep. Is it a better price? Yeah, this one's up to the hundred and thirty dollar price tag, whereas Nicey started at like seventy five. Which Ugh. it's like Nicey is definitely a figure that if it was like mainline or one of the like big, well known third party companies, it would definitely cost that much. It's just it was their first figure, so they made it relatively cheaper, and now they're charging more for stuff. If you remember, the Magic Henshin girls were actually pretty expensive, too, after their initial pre-order period. They went up to, like, $300 for the set I, or something. They were a lot. I, I don't know. I don't know Actually. what that is. So, sorry. Sorry. I, I know. I have a particular interest in strange things. But that's the thing is, is that's why I think it's good to do this new format because, you know, Christian and I don't necessarily have that interest, but you do. And then we like to collect Hasbro crap. So it's true. You do. And I still think we'll intersect a lot because I know there's a lot of toys we'll be getting all of as um, Legacy or whatever the hell it's called comes out. Are you guys getting Black Zarek? I bought mine on Tuesday. I'm waiting for it to yes. show. Yes. Mine actually shipped from Hasbro. Mine too. See? See? So the Triangle of Terror is complete. We will all have the same figure. I jumped ship and soon. went to GameStop thinking they would ship sooner than Pulse, and I had a $5 coupon, and I'm still waiting. So you saved $5. It hasn't shipped yet. You'll, you'll, you'll get it. <sighs> It'll be gold and black and kind of cool. Are you guys upgrading yours? No. No. I don't think I am. I didn't $150 want those upgrades. No. No, I have so many things I haven't opened anyway. So, any I don't. I went through my backlog. I actually have well, my good upgrade. Job. I think I saw my upgrade kit for Scorponok at Chosen Prime. Like, I never shipped it. 
So I'll have to do that at some point. I can sometimes. I'm interested in them, but anywho, we're here to talk about toys that we currently do actually have. Yeah. So, we should, somehow we should, we should our open format, format, talking about any toys, any still managed to get off topic. And we still just start going, blah, 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 Never talk about whatever we want. All right. Rock, paper, scissors. Who gets to go first? Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two. Did we all? Yeah. Wow. We all go at the same time. We, all we, the same we just way. all start talking at the same time. Anna, why don't you just go? Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's so I'm, weird. I would be the first person to talk about Master Builder Ace Hitter. Ooh. Which is Ooh. who's this guy again, Christian? Go shooter? Yeah, some sort of character from some sort of anime, I think. He's from Master Force. Yes. <laughs> I always like getting the lore from you. I don't know why. It just feels I don't right. know much about Master Force. It I'm feels like you're the... Destron. Okay. Well, it feels like you'll, usually you'll you're the one who the most lore. Say, but so. I... Uh, I think Peter's in the chat right now, so whatever I've definitely watched the crap out of Master Force. So Master Force is one of those series that's like, you know, it's one that most... U.S. audiences kind of missed because it was a Japanese series. It is very, very anime, <laughs> and I love it dearly. So the idea that it's getting some representation in figures these days was exciting. And as you know, Fans Hobby first came out with their Athena, which is Minerva, and we talked about it on the show, and I just don't like it. Like, I have so many problems with that figure that owning it has started to annoy the crap out of me after, like, a year of owning it just because it's a pain in the ass to transform. And the arms don't look great, even though they're a pain to transform. So I was really nervous about getting this guy because he is largely a retool of Athena. But I kept hearing such good things about him. And I have nothing bad to say about this figure. It's interesting what just a little bit of retooling can do to change a figure because um i don't even have my minerva ready in robot mode because she was in car mode and when i looked at her today i was like i don't want to deal with that so i didn't touch it but um he is for the most part from the waist up he's the same transformation in general like there are differences of course because he ends up with these type of shoulders and so the type of shoulders she has his arms are bigger He's got some differences, but largely it's the same. It's just the legs. Her legs require so many times where you have to push plastic against itself and you have to do it just right. His legs are more standard. They're pretty easy to put together. So I just like him a lot better as a toy to actually transform. I had that feeling with Nightbeat. And now that you've mentioned you're being annoyed that Minerva's around, it's like, yeah, maybe I'm annoyed too. Are you annoyed that Nightbeat's around? Yeah. Okay. Because you don't have Minerva, right? No. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's almost a good toy, the it's Minerva close. mold. It is very close. And I think the missteps they made were that they wanted to make the front of the car more bulbous and rounded. I think they were trying to somehow make the car more feminine. And it doesn't really look like Minerva's car mode anyway, so it's not like they really accomplished that in the first place. And also the arms. The arms are very skinny and have kind of strange elbows. And I think, again, they were going to make it look a little more feminine. But again, Minerva's a block EG1 character. She's a little more feminine than most, but didn't need to look like that. And it made the figure worse. So when they squared them off, it made nice square blocky legs and a nice square blocky car and nice square blocky arms. It actually works better. Like, I feel like I want that repainted as Nightbeat. Yeah. I want this repainted as Minerva. Mm. Like, I just want... Like, you can change the chest plate. You sure. don't have to change the arms because she can have thicker arms. That's fine. It's not like she had little skinny arms anyway. And yeah, just make this into Minerva. That would be fine. I would like well, that the better. The thing is, is like it's not like any of this is accurate to anything, it's not. right? Like, I mean, I suppose it evokes, you know, Minerva or 
or whoever, but it's it's not like it's it's anywhere close. So it's like why why make it hard to transform if you're not going to make it accurate? Yeah, I think he's close enough to go shoot a in robot mode, but car mm-hmm. mode is whatever. Um, they actually produced a second one already that has colors that might be more accurate for one person or another, but whatever. I'm happy uh-huh. with what I have. Oh, they made actual siren version? I think so. Cool. It well I don't the know. Thing that's I like cool what I about have. this is, is isn't this figure a little bit like cheaper as well? Like it's kind of like yes. old prices, not new. And when I was wandering around um, TFCon back in October, I was noticing that, you know, one of the cheapest, nice figures on anyone's cell table was Athena, was their Minerva for about 60 bucks. And the night beat was usually like 65 and he was 70. So they were all reasonably priced figures. He's obviously the best of the three because he no longer has an infuriating transformation. He has a like moderate transformation. He has what you would expect for a figure that looks like this and then has a nice clean car mode too. And it's okay. You know, he doesn't take five seconds to transform like a lot of our mainline stuff, but he also doesn't take two hours and screeching to transform. I have never, and I'm, I'm honest about when transformations are hard for me. I have never gotten Minerva back to car mode without having to take a break. Every time I put her back to car mode, I get to the legs. I have to put her down for a while and come back to it. That's not fun to me. I've never tried it with my beat. You haven't put him back in car mode at all? Nope. It's not very fun. It's not very fun at all. It doesn't seem like it. It was difficult to get out of car mode. And I hear everybody talk about how fans hobby stuff is slightly easier to transform in general and usually a little more like, you know, the fun type of well, thing to do. That's, and he fits it that. Depends on the, it depends on the figure. And I think that oh, of like, course. a lot of times those bigger figures are just easier to, to transform. So, but yeah, like and a the lot laser of those... prime and the monster bots, I think are, you know, but those are also their earlier stuff. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, th- those were released years ago, so. They're big and blocky, and I think that just works better for them. You know, companies are companies are good at certain things. Right. You know, I don't know. It's, it's funny. I actually feel like a lot of uh, the third-party companies have trouble with that, like, kind of, like, deluxe, you know, small Voyager size. Like, I don't think, I don't think any of them necessarily do it that well. Yeah, there might be a point. I mean, the counterpoint is always Legends, of course. Well, because, you know, Legends right. are great I'm not, too. I'm not saying but... those companies. I'm saying right. the third party companies specifically. Like, I think yeah. Takara does them very well. Um, and I, but I think that a lot of the third party companies, like, I don't, like, if you look at like MMC, for example, like their weakest figures are those smaller ones. And same thing with fans, uh, fans toys uh, as well. Here's little Shooter. He's mm. pretty much. It's funny because like he's one of those things where he's the exact same figure as the little Minerva head, but it's all different parts. So you know the chest looks different, the head looks different. But when you look at it, I'm just like, this looks exactly like the Minerva does. And it, it doesn't actually, but it's fine. It's not super articulated. You know, it doesn't have much hip and it doesn't have much shoulder, but it has both. And it's fine. Like, they're animated enough that you can make them, like, sit around and talk to each other and do teenager things, which is appropriate for them. So. And important to you. And important to me. Yeah, because, well, like, the Headmaster Juniors are probably some of the least violent transformers characters because a lot of times they ended up being more of like the comedy and the drama side and then you know genra is the one who really gets in there and really fights and does all the big stuff and they're just there to like progress story and argue with the other headmaster juniors and stuff and i like them for that reason i also think they were the best use of kids in a transformers series especially up to that point and still one of the best use of kids like they they didn't annoy me, at least. Like, I actually liked them in the series. They were characters, not just annoying. That's a big compliment. 
Anywho, I'm a fan of this figure, but owning it is going to be frustrating for me because it means I need to keep Athena. Because if I keep him and get the new Minerva that comes out in Walgreens exclusive land because it looks better, you know, like if that one actually ends up being a better toy than Athena, which is very likely <laughs> given how frustrating Athena is, um, I won't feel like I should get rid of her because, you know, she's going to be she's going to be this tall and this one's going to be this tall and they would look stupid together. So wait a minute, Anna, you of all people don't care about scale. Certain things have to go together. Just certain things. I just have my moments. These three have to go together. I feel like that's the first time I've heard you say that. Really? Oh, there are certain times. There are certain times when things need to go together. The three of them are one of those times. Now, I think it's funny that my overlord is only like, you know, half again as tall as him. So it's funny that they Well, you can just get the so big overlord. Compared to the big they just reissued them. So. They did just reissue like, it, and it's expensive. Yeah, isn't it like $250, $300, something like that? Something like that. It's a very expensive figure. It looks nice, mm. but it's not something I personally need. Anywho, other than the like cognitive dissonance this gives me by being a frustrating, um, by having a frustrating sister, I um, I really like it, and I really wonder how Cab's gonna be. Really wonder when we get our little, our little very rectangular fire truck, if he'll actually be good or not. Pretty rectangular. It's, he looks good. He sounds like he's gonna be good, but so did well. Honestly, I had um, I had apprehension about Athena before it came out when I saw pictures of it. Yeah. I had a lot of apprehension about Athena. So maybe not having apprehension about him means he'll be fine. Who knows? We'll see. That's really all I have to say about this. I recommend it as an individual, but I worry about the, the, three, the three set, the triplets, the group. I couldn't think of a word that wasn't threesome. <laughs> the trio. Trio, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna go Anna ahead and go because mine will be pretty quick. Um, so I got uh, some Hasbro Pulse. Uh, goodness, like you know, whatever. Uh, I think I was on vacation whenever it happened. So, um, but it got delivered. So yes, the uh, Galvatron Unicron companion pack um pretty exciting so i got some other small figures to lose He's unboxing it a live well, unboxing no, I, no I, I already unboxed it but i was gonna say the little figures are in this little uh box here so i don't know i've heard they nice. fall out they will fall out did it actually come with like small slugs that i like lost already Yes. Uh, that, yeah. I didn't see any slugs in there. Okay, well. I don't They're know. in that They're paper. In... Oh, well, I did not see them in there. <laughs> There's oh, no, you them. know what? There is. Okay, I, I actually see it now. I When I opened it the other day, I didn't see that. But uh, the ships are actually kind of nice uh, because they're painted. Like the... Um... <laughs> the I can't remember the Unicron. The ships that came with the Unicron were not painted, were they? No, no, so, like, I don't believe nice. they were. It's nice that they actually painted these. Yeah. No, the Autobot mm -hmm. shuttle was painted. Oh, was it okay? Yeah, and the Nemesis. Yeah. This little Nemesis shuttle, like this, is actually pretty. It's the nice Revenge, painted. dude. Revenge, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Discount. You know, Christian over here. <laughs> Christian does not discount Christian. No, I'm, I'm discount, discount Christian. Des oh, you're discount. He's, oh, okay, he's, okay. He's discount Destron. I'm discount Christian. Okay, got it. So, and then these tiny little slug figures that are just incredible. There are a bunch of them, and yet they still did, did didn't do it right. How many? How many are there? How they not do it right? The packaging. Because no, well, the packaging is annoying because it's not late and they fall out and get lost. But how, how many of those supposed made, to be Christian? I think there's a dozen. There's a twelve. There's twelve. There's twelve in here. Okay, well maybe they're in the there's box. 12. Hopefully, because I, I hope uh, so I too. I see four. 
Because if you're not going to use them to, your, sure you to their fullness, you should have given them an Anna. Uh, Anna actually likes them. Oh, God. Uh, I, I need to just put these immediately into a um, Ziploc baggie. That is what you I do. do. So. so they did it wrong because they made four Dinobots, which is cool. Oh. Because four Dinobots appear in the movie. Except... It really is all five. And except they made the wrong four. <laughs> They did make their own four. Oh, no. It's really cool when you know. have something that's in a package that has a lot of packing paper and you creakle that paper yes, a lot very, while you're on a podcast. Loud. It's great. It's really nice for the viewers, especially our audio listeners. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So like let's therapy. see. Let me count them up. They said the slug figures had Grimlock <laughs> and Snarl, Slag and Swoop. They had Starscream, Soundwave, Cup. Agnes, RC. Who am I missing? I'm just doing it from memory. I don't know. I got nine. There's three more. I don't know. Megatron. Uh, person, or, uh, Catherine said there's 14 slugs. Is that... Was that in this pack? Wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. I. This is... Well, I have missed... Five of them then <laughs> it's really frustrating that they put them, them in, in the bag. paper packaging instead of like putting them in a plastic bag and i know that they're trying to get rid of plastic or whatever but come on Seriously? yes i have a note about that for my entry this evening as well yeah so but uh so but then the main figure uh of yeah course is yet another galvatron here and, uh, you know, we all love clear plastic. So. He's cool looking, though. Yeah, no, it is. Look at those lines. Cool it's all panel lines and all stuff. The, the panel lines are actually. I don't know it's, if it's coming across, like, on my camera. It's okay. Now, my lighting's kind of weird. He's it's real like clear. Right. He is very clear. There's a lot of clear plastic here. But it is a neat figure. I actually I don't mind it as as a repaint. Um, I don't know. I wasn't sure if I needed like three of these, um, and I, and apparently I'm gonna have four because I guess there's another uh, Galvatron coming out where they like take the space mud and crap off of it. But ooh, I think I'm just gonna take the space mud off of mine. Well, that's what I was thinking. The cup is why don't I just paint it? The shoulders on my Galvatron are messed up, and I can never find a, a new one to, ah. to get or whatever. And so, yeah. I flipped I, mine upside down, and they worked. And if I really feel strong about it, I'll fix it. Yeah, I don't think the holes look that bad if you just flip them around. I, I don't want to spend 50 bucks on that thing again. I, don't know. I, can, I can fix what I don't like about the other one if I care too much. Oh, I guess I could have uh, showed off that uh, leader pack. For uh, Starscream, too, because I, I have that as well, because that's another, that's, oh, that's another oh, always $50 next week. where it's not. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I'll show that off next week. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, this is a, a really neat looking configure. I don't mind having it. So that's so. that's half of the reformatting scene. Are you guys going to get the a version of the reformatted um, red Megatron to go with no. it? Maybe if it goes on sale. I, I sale. will not. I'm not doing red figures at all. If they release, if they do a repaint of one of the other Megatrons and do it in an actual like figure, I just, I don't like that. Red oh, series. I'd be in for that immediately. Oh, oh. I just. The, the problem like red. with me is a problem you mentioned earlier, Anna, is that the red figure would not be at the right scale with this one. Yeah. It just, I don't think it would look right. Really? I don't think so. Is Galvatron that much bigger than Megatron? I just I just don't think they look good together. I could be okay. proven wrong. They don't look good together. In I don't way. think that would look good with the with the War for Cybertron Megatron. Mm. Maybe there's not a good solution. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever they re release a new Megatron, maybe they can do that. Who knows? I'm I sure would, they'll be releasing another be... Megatron. What, what sucks about Megatron and what sucked about Megatron for the last, you know, 30 years 
has been that we can't get one that looks like the original cartoon unless he doesn't transform. Because, you know, the, the War for Cybertron one's close, but it's nowhere near as close as the Prime is because Prime turns into a truck. And Megatron has to turn into a tank because making gun toys is, or toy guns is not cool anymore. I mean, I'm sure that they could come up with some kind of weird Cybertronian tank design that, like, makes it so that his... To get him closer. Accurate. Yeah. Well, here, here's what you do. We learned this from Titan's Return. He turns into a submarine. <laughs> Thank you, Six Shot. Yes, yeah, we can I, turn him into a submarine. I don't know that <clears throat> having any figure that's silver like that, like, I just don't think that they're ever going to do a submarine mode. Uh-huh. You know? Like, it's a little it, yeah, bit it, easier. It, the color thing is part of it. Yeah. Right, right, right. So... I don't know. I'd take a new Nerf gun, though, personally. I thought that... I would, too. Classics. uh, I would absolutely do that. That That design was iconic. Yeah. Even the colors, they were kooky colors, but man, were they cool. Yeah, it's something that we've never got to talk about on the show, because I don't have any of them, but there's those um, dinosaur Nerf guns, the one Chinese company makes, that are so cool. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're like legitimate transforming figures that have a Nerf gun infrastructure. And they're not like nice Nerf guns. They're like the cheaper Nerf guns, but they still work. I just think it's cool to have a functioning thing like that. And I would be fine with a Megatron that was also a Nerf gun. Not a water gun. I don't want them to also be a water gun because water and toys aren't the best friends. But Nerf darts oh, are you. fine. Yeah. So I will say that the ship guns whatever that they have here are this is actually probably the best like if you're looking for the best version of this uh just because it looks cool in the clear plastic um so i don't know i I can't imagine anyone would get it just for this but especially because it you know comes with an accurate revenge (laughs) right Did any of us get Sniper Prime? Oh, is that that, like, huge thing? Oh, that huge thing. No, I did not get that huge thing. The big Sniper Gun, baby. So, I did, but I haven't received mine yet. I know some people, I know some retailers got it, and then some didn't. Mine is one of the many things I'm waiting on Big Bad Toy Store for. Mm. Mm. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious about it. I really do. Like, I think that's something I'm going to own only briefly. I guess I, I honestly don't actually like firearms. I just wanted to play with that. Like, it's such a novel concept. It's very interesting. It did I look like cool. novel I did, I transforming I toys. I do too. I just don't think I have a place for it. Yeah, I think yeah, I will. That's I will review it. It'll be awkward for me to review, Catherine, because it'll be like, I hate guns, but here's, ew, a sniper here's rifle. A nasty. sniper rifle. How much was that? Do you know? Uh, it was between 60 and 80, depending on where you got it. It's not too bad. It's way too cheap for the size, so you know it's going to have problems. That's been the thing everybody who's interested in it has been talking about since it came out was just like, if that thing was $200, we'd all be confident it would be fine. But since it's, it's that cheap, it's like, oh, God, it's going to be flimsy. It's going to be like a sniper rifle that turns into noodles. But, yeah, I would definitely say that this Galvatron looks really cool. Um, I don't know. I have, I think, both of the selects version or generations or whatever that they call them, like, Galvatrons have been better than the retail um, one. Like, I think that one was my least favorite. Um, yep. So, I... Like, I kind of like this just because I don't have to worry about putting stickers on. Um, like, that was the one, my my complaint on the other one, I just, I don't like stickers. I'd rather be Tampo, so. Um, Is it the toy version one that has the stickers? The toy version yes. one does, yeah. Okay. So, I, I think that it's nice that this just has the panel lining on it. You don't have to worry about that. And then it comes with all the, you know, Unicron pack and, you know, apparently the... 20 slugs that I like have somehow probably lost in the carpet somewhere. So, yay. Yeah, I try to find them. 
there are a lot of really cool uses for those. Um, Catherine, who's in our chat and who was on the show with us last week, um, she's using them as like a trophy display in one of her displays. And it's so cool to have them. That like, makes sense to me. Yeah, like they're like trophies or action figures and models for them. I would like to see that, Catherine. Please. Yeah, yeah that's really nice. Pictures. It works super well. And I think I'm going to emulate the same thing now that I'm building dioramas. I just really like it. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect use for these things. But I don't have that many slogs. I have like one, two. Did any of them come with the old um, accessory pack? I don't think so. One that yes. came with Fire Dinosaur. Okay. Well, I have those. Not with Fire head. Dinosaur. It came with the uh, Centurion Drone. Oh, okay. I did send I you that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I got that from you. Duh. I reversed ideas in my head. Yes. I do have them then. Whichever ones those were. I think it's just Optimus in that one. Okay. And then I have Beard Optimus, too. It's been two years. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no worries. What figure it's literally, with, uh, did Beard Optimus come with? I can't remember. The Ark. Came with the Ark. Ah, okay. I don't know what I did with that. So I'm looking forward to like never being able to sell any of those figures because I can never say that they're complete because there's like some stupid slug figure that I lost. I literally had it at my feet, so convenient yeah you, you know if you don't clean your room that way everything's always where you need it i'm gonna go now and look who i've got Ooh. look who you got see it's i'm actually two. a little jealous because i won't mind well i did the double pre-order so that i can make sure i got it worked out for you it did work out for me yeah so here he is he's all terry and sorry and stuff how do you like him? I like him a bunch. He uh, he looks like he's supposed to look, which is a common theme with most of the Beast Wars characters in Kingdom, that they look like they walked out of the show. Some of them don't, Cheetor, Binox, but a lot of them do. Here he is off the stand. He's very yeah, red. he really does. Um, before I go anywhere else, I want to talk about his Beast Mode head. Because that is freaking animation accurate. Holy cow. And it's... It's almost frustrating that he is animation accurate and the rest of them are freaking like those little um, animal cool. figures you buy at the toy store. Yeah. So remember earlier when I said I had something to say about the paper nonsense with the slugs on this figure? Check it out. These little yep. arm blades, they're not actually part of his arms. They should be, but they're just 5 millimeter ports. And they plug in, and they get lost when you drop them. Uh, they come in a teeny tiny paper sachet, I guess, uh, attached to the back of the card that he is attached to. So a lot of people have been throwing them away. Don't do that when you get your pterosaurs. Please look on the back of the card and get these things. They should just be molded into the arms but they're not that is such a bummer like to think that they package it like that in a way that almost sets us up for failure yep i thought they learned their lesson in 2005 or 2006 with dark crumple zone but they did not here we are but here he is he's very red the only thing I can complain about with the paint, he's got a lot of it, especially on the legs, on the arms. It's all silver paint. So I feel like he needs some sort of detailing on his helmet. I know it's not accurate. But a colored in crest would be nice. But a colored in crest would be nice, especially since he's got molded detail along the crest and along the sides. Yeah, there's good places to put paint. Yeah. But instead of uh, Air Razor's little missiles, he's got... Got this gun, which is accurate enough, I think. I don't, I don't remember specifically, but it's cool. Some people have been having some trouble with the wings. They do pop off. They're just held in by a friction tab. You know, a pin would have been nice, I guess, but not necessarily. It just flops back on right there. So they go out for beast mode, and they go in for robot mode. I think I'm going to like him more than Air Razor. He's a cool guy. I like him a lot. 
he's a necessary addition to the team, and he looks good with all the other Predacons. But uh, he's a he's well done. They could have just phoned it in, and they they didn't. He really only shares engineering with Air Razor. I think maybe the thighs. Maybe he's pretty different. Oh, maybe the forearms, because that's that's why they didn't mold the spiky things in, because it's just the same forearms. But uh, yeah, he's pretty much wholly different. He looks real Very good. Cool guy. Bring on Fractal and Lazor Beak slash Hydra, please. Yeah, I'll have Bye. to have both him and Fractal because I just don't see him getting a MP figure anytime soon. So no, I think he'll be one of the last. I'm gonna be happy with him like he is now. Yeah, not a lot to tell. Definitely get him. I recommend him hard. He's out of stock on Amazon. There's been stocking issues on Amazon. But Pulse hasn't got their allotment yet, so if you haven't ordered there, you're probably fine. If you can sneak a new order in there, do. Yeah, I think he looks great. He's, I'm excited. He's really cool. Def- definitely worth the price. Oh, he definitely. comes with a golden disc. I didn't bring that. He comes with a golden disc. Finally justifying oh, yeah. gold disc collection. The golden disc collection, yeah. Yes. He comes with the uh, the Vok one, not the sound He'll be the one from the set that I'm actually happy to get. He won't bring me infinite disappointment like a certain jack of pots. They need to re- they need to make that right and send out replacement parts for that. They're never yeah. going to do that. They're not. They never will they do it, but they should. To. Injustice. Grr. So yeah, I guess that, that, that uh, we it sounds like we're recommending all the figures. Uh, so. Yeah, yes. I think we're all happy with what we have, which is so that it's going to be a lot more common if none of us pick up a figure just to talk about it. I think we're going to be more likely to be happy with what we have. I mean, I, I feel like considering that I pretty much buy all the Hasbro stuff that there's going to be something I'm disappointed in. But... Definitely. Whoa. I guess I'm going to be the one who stops being unhappy about stuff. You guys might still, we'll because see. you still have the gotta catch them all thing. But yeah. This allows me to avoid gotta catch them all syndrome. So. Gotta catch them most. But, gotta catch them yeah, most I don't is know. okay. I mean, I feel I feel like that. Um, you know, just collecting generations or whatever they are calling it now. Um, you know, most of those figures are pretty good. Um, you know, they might have a, a few clunkers, but they're not too bad. It's not like it's Cyberverse. Right. We, we talked about him on the show before but like scorponok is generally considered to be a bad figure but compared to like the bad figures of the past he's still pretty decent right like yeah, he's he does trash. both modes really well i feel like he's just kind of like meh like it's it's not like yes i don't know i got him he's only it's... he's only trash compared to his compatriots but right compared to years ago he's still great I think instead of selling him when I get a hold of a better Scorponok, I'll probably just put him in Scorpion mode and have a Scorpion on my shelf and be okay with that. I hope to have three Scorpions. Cheetor is pretty rough. Cheetor is tough, but for some reason, when I finally gave in and got Shadow Panther, and I had him on my desk for like two months, he was just a lot of fun to play with. Like, he was just a quick, easy transformation. He was funny in both modes. Like, he's a funny cat. And a functional robot. I don't know. Mm. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. But not so much for the look, but for the play value more than anything else. Interesting. Yeah, these are all positive. I'm thinking really hard about what I want to do next week. I'm thinking about digging in the bin of weird. To bring out something oh, that I haven't got to talk boy. about. Anna's bin of weird. I think I need to. I was thinking about doing something kind of normal. Like I'd talk about my diorama I recently got. Or something like that. Because that would be normal and still available to buy. And normal people might actually consider purchasing it. After I price it. But um, I think I might just go straight off. Straight off the rails. Nice. There you go. Still a transforming action figure. Don't worry. <laughs> and not a baby carriage because I've already talked about that. Um, so I do want to mention. Uh, so last night we had TFLP. So if you want to check Good. that out, 
Um, we uh, managed to stretch uh, the a 10 second trailer into over an hour discussion. So a 10 second uh, trailer we, and one image. Oh, and one image. There you go for for uh, the new Transformers Earth Spark show. Um, and Bob, so Bob. come out. on, dude. And Bob, Bob. So I, I I'm sorry, Christian, for leaving that out. Um, and then uh, also there is going to be a cut the tape up tomorrow as well. So join Rick and whatever Rick's doing there. Um, so, anyway, um, so that'll be up tomorrow night as well. So, uh, and then book club this week is going to be till all are one issue seven and eight, I believe. Um, I think yeah, I think night, they, they decided oh. to delay last week because, because I didn't show up. Not really. I think it had to do with the football event. The football event. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. So, See right. you there. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us tonight. Thank you to Catherine and uh, to Zaldron and Phil and to Peter. And, uh, yeah, and thanks to everyone else. And thank you to you, Lucas. So. All right. Well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week.